Well, folks, we just got our first official trailer, technically teaser trailer, for Joker 2, a.k.a. Folly of the... And, uh, of course, Warner Brothers is having their CinemaCon panel tonight, so that's where this trailer made its official world debut, and then, of course, it was released officially online. Uh, it's not too often that we get trailers dropping at nighttime, but here we are uh, for this uh, special occasion. But, man, I have been really excited for this movie because I, I love the first Joker movie. It's such a good film. I've still only seen it the once because it's one of those movies where it's like, man, this is so good, but it's... It's definitely not something you watch for fun, um, but it's such a good movie, and a lot of people have n been hating on this film and not been excited for it because, first of all, a lot of people just think it doesn't deserve a sequel or doesn't need a sequel, and that's a fair point, but most other people that I've seen have been hating on this just because, oh, it's going to be a musical, it's going to suck. I don't understand why so many people hate musicals. Musicals are awesome. My favorite movie of all time is La La Land, and this trailer gives off major La La Land vibes, and I love it. Um, like, this is literally La La Land, but with the Joker and Harley Quinn, which is awesome. And there's so many, just going through and getting the screenshots for this trailer, like, every shot in this trailer is just a beautiful shot. The cinematography here is amazing. It, it was fantastic in the first film as well. But it's even more um, terrific and on display here, uh, we're, which we're definitely going to be seeing with those musical numbers. Um, of course, again, this is a musical. It's been confirmed they're going to do uh, at least 15 covers of popular songs, one of which is confirmed to be That's Entertainment. And we don't really get a look at that in the trailer or get to hear any of that. There is a song that's playing, but... I couldn't tell if it was Joaquin Phoenix singing it. I didn't think it was, but it, it, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But either way, this was a fantastic trailer because it looks like a perfect sequel to this first film. It's continuing the whole vibe and themes of that movie. But now with a new story, now with a new character joining the fold, and now with this musical element as well. And they explain it. Uh, so we're going to go and talk about this trailer and uh, break it down for you. So we open up with Arthur Fleck, of course, played by the talented Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, he's in his jail cell at uh, Arkham Hospital. And so he's, you know, living life behind bars after all of his crimes that he's committed and he's being uh escorted through the halls when all of a sudden he gets a he gets a glimpse of another woman and this of course is lady gaga that's the big headline here it's walking phoenix and lady gaga joker and harley quinn now just like how Todd Phillips did a very original take with Arthur Fleck as the Joker in this first movie, this is going to be a very different take on Harley Quinn compared to the comics. So in the comics, of course, Harleen Quinzel is a, um, she's a therapist at Arkham Asylum, and that's how she meets Joker. But in this version, she's not an employee at Arkham Asylum. She is instead a fellow inmate. So she's already crazy. Uh, which, of course, in the comics, Joker's the one that turns her crazy after they fall in love. Uh, but, but she's already starting off crazy. Um, uh, but that, that of course, is uh, keeping a, a realism aspect to it as well. Um, to uh, but, but Because, of course, a, a big message of the, this first movie and continuing here with the second film is mental health and these actual real mental health disorders. So uh, he catches a glimpse of her in the hall and he's like, ooh la la. And then we get our first glimpse at some musical elements here because you can see they're walking through a tunnel and he's you know he's getting rained on and everything he's really in his head and then you see the umbrella tops change to very bright kind of technicolor colors and uh it's beautiful it, it's very musical there i feel like there's probably going to be a lot of uh references to older classic musicals as well so i love this um personally i do love musicals and i'm currently in the process of trying to get caught up on a lot of more famous musicals. So I haven't seen a whole lot of older musicals, uh, but just throwing a guess out there, this is maybe a reference to Singing in the Rain. Um, I feel like that would make sense to be a song in here because well, when they said 15 popular songs and then That's Entertainment is, is listed as one, I feel like, especially because of the time period that this movie takes place in, a lot of these 
covers are going to be older songs, which personally I enjoy because it fits the theme of this franchise. It'd be weird. Like, I get it. It would make sense because it's Lady Gaga to do a Lady Gaga song, but it just wouldn't fit the tone of the vibe of this song. But we have her Harley Quinn character um, who's coming in here saying she's a nobody. But then she meets this Arthur Fleck guy and she's basically like she looks up to him as a hero and she's like, I'm a nobody. I've done nothing. You you've done something and you can see here she's holding up the the finger gun to her head just like uh arthur did in the first film when he was trying to riz up zazie beats character um whether that actually happened or not we really don't even know uh but this is a great parallel there's a lot of uh callbacks and then we get some more of those musical numbers as well uh where we get a great look at this spotlight coming down on joker and he's got a microphone and everything he looks great and then they're watching a movie together they're holding hands and she's like let's get out of here so they're gonna get out of there or i guess really the real question is do they ever actually get out of there because this whole movie they might escape or something but then it might be at the end where it's like oh no they were actually in arkham that whole entire time and they, 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 this was all in their heads. That's totally possible. But this very La La Land moment right here, you can see Joker. He's in the, the tux. And uh, Lady Gaga's character is in the nice, beautiful dress. You can see the moon behind them as well. This, I believe, was a photo that was released by director Todd Phillips on Valentine's Day in black and white. Where you can see that they're, with some of those musical numbers, they're going to do very kind of old school techniques with that. With very much, like backdrops which i love i love that they're going to be doing that here's another shot of that um there's them dancing again this fall uh this is a shot interestingly so we saw when they were filming this movie we saw set videos of this part now walking phoenix's arthur fleck is running away he's being chased by two people one of which looks to be wearing a mask and the other looks to be fully dressed as the joker so this is one of the interesting things is that uh, Joker, as we saw in the first movie, is idolized by many people. He's looked up to as a hero by these fellow insane people. And so it, it makes sense that there would be kind of copycats out there um, and uh, fans, I guess you could say. I think that's really interesting. This I love. Joker and Harley looks to be on the, the same or at least a similar soundstage to uh, the Murray show from the first Joker movie. So I love that. Um, here's a great shot of Joker and Harley as well. Uh, Phoenix. And there's him being dragged across the halls. Gaga. And here's our best look yet of her in her full Harley Quinn costume, uh, which we talked about in set photos from a couple of years ago. Um, actually, just about a year ago now. Um, I love her look. I think it looks great. It's very... Um, again, based in realism. So I like it. Um, it's just a nice little romantic moment of her helping him put on the makeup. And, uh, we have this doctor guy who's talking about like, what changed? And he's talking about what changed is that he's not alone anymore. After the, that first movie, he was all sad and depressed because he had no one in his life. In this second movie, now he is idolized. He is seen as a hero. And he has love now by his side. Um, this shot I love because he um, he and Harley are doing the kick. They're dancing together. And you've got a bunch of people around them um, with signs saying, free the Joker, resist, knock, knock, um, free on all charges. We love Joker. Um, so again, th this is going to be definitely one of those moments where it's like, it, it, is this real? Is this not this shot? I love because he is wearing the all white suit and tie, just like he did in the Dark Knight Returns comic. Um, so that is classic, a great reference to the comics. Probably like, it's not going to have anything to do with that comic. It's just going to be probably for a musical number. That's my best guess, but still nice reference. I like that. You can see right here, you got a runway and everything. I love this. They're at a church. Oh, this is their wedding. looks like they're getting married. That's beautiful. Um, again, yeah, I, I love the, like those simple backdrops that you have on display here because they are beautiful. Like we don't like, they don't get that in movies anymore now but 
like this shot here looks like a theatrical produ production, like a staged play or a musical. I, I love that. I think that looks great. And there's just some more great shots of them together. Hotel Arkham, no vacancy. Um, man, just these are some beautiful shots. I absolutely love it. Um, we can see there's a lot, a lot of action going on here. Arkham is on fire. Did they make it explode? I don't know. Um, she looks cool putting on her makeup there. Arthur is crying and no, he's not crying. He's laughing in the rain or maybe he's doing a little bit, bit of both. Uh, this was a little teaser released earlier today that was uh, teasing all trailers coming tonight. And uh, this is really interesting though. Harley is holding a gun to Joker and he's got his arms up. Is she going to kill him? That's one of my theories going into this film is that it may... You know, obviously in the comics, the whole mad love storyline is that Joker and Harley, they fall in love, but he is a super abusive guy to, towards her. I think it would be interesting, especially since this is a very different take on the character and more specifically their story together. I think it would be really interesting if she kills him, if it takes a turn and Arthur is the victim in the situation. I think that would be really, really cool. Um, great shot of Gaga there, great shot of Phoenix, and then this perfect ending moment of the trailer when it seems like she is visiting him in prison, which I don't know how that works, um, because obviously she was in prison with him, so again, what's real, what's not, but I love how she puts the, the lipstick on the the glass, and then he, he starts smiling again. Oh, just beautiful. Absolutely loved it. Joker, Folie de. I love this trailer. It was so good. Um, I cannot wait to see this movie. I'm very incredibly excited for this film. And I'm looking forward to it. So folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this teaser trailer for Joker 2, aka Joker, Folie de. So thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button so I keep up to date on everything goes on in the DC life.